Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a dynamic list for our data validation dropdown so that if I delete or add any to the list it will automatically add them to my data validation dropdown or let's say a list box that we might use from the developer tab but in any case it will make this dynamic without having to just have spaces in there where we would add additional items or when we delete items they would leave spaces in there so let's see how we can do that in Excel so here I have a data validation dropdown list and you can see I have the names Anna all the way down to Zoe which is the list I have here in column H if I went ahead and deleted a bunch of those from that list I would check it again and notice now it only goes down to Quincy or if I added them back and maybe even added one more and check that in my data validation dropdown you can see they're all there in addition to the one that I just added so how we were able to accomplish that is by creating a named range and using the offset and counter functions in a formula to make that range dynamic. So if I go to my formulas tab, name manager, here is the named range that I created and you can see the formula that we have here is the same one that I showed on my worksheet. So how does that work? Well, if we take a look at the offset function, you can see it returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. And if I hit tab, you can see it asks for a reference or a starting point, then how many rows down, how many columns over, and then what's the height and width of the range that I want. And notice that the height and width are in square brackets, so those are optional, and by default, they would be just one and one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my reference cell H1 and I want to go down zero rows and over zero columns so I stay at H1 for my starting point point. and in terms of my height that's where I'm going to use the counter function which counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty and I'm going to just select column H close my counter function close my offset function, hit enter, and notice it's only showing one response, and that's Larry. The reason is Excel cannot display 26 names in one cell. But if I highlighted that formula and hit F9 and expanded my formula bar, you can see it has retrieved all the names that I had in my list. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now let's build the same thing again from scratch and walk through and see how we're going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Name Manager and I'm going to create a new name and I'm going to call it Letters and my formula for that is going to be equals offset parentheses. My starting point is going to be dollar sign L dollar sign one comma I'm gonna go zero rows down zero columns over and then the height I want it to be is going to be the counter function parentheses and I'm just going to use L L to be column L as my column that I'm gonna count the values in and then I'm gonna close my offset function and hit OK and you can see there I have my letters, name range, and the formula that's going to be used there. I'll close that. Then I'll click in cell J2. I'll go to data, data validation. I'll select list. And my source is going to be equals letters. And I'll say OK. And now you can see I have A through H. If I delete a few of those, I'll check it again and now it just goes down to EE. I put them back, maybe even add a couple more and I check my data validation and you can see Excel has dynamically added those because I've used the offset and counter functions in a formula when I created 
the named range that I use in my data validation formula. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.